This is the ultimate mac and cheese. Super creamy, super rich, super tasty, super cheesy. First thing you gotta do is make your cheese sauce. Now in here, I've got a saucepan and I'm gonna stick into that 35 grams of butter. So as that butter's melting, I'm gonna get on and I'm gonna grate my cheeses, okay? The cheddar, 150 grams of it. Then into that, we're gonna put comte cheese. And then lastly, some Parmesan. So it's a balance. You've got this acidity that comes from cheddar. You've got the richness and the cheesy gooiness that comes from Comte. And then you've got a salt content and a salt kick that comes from Parmesan. As soon as the butter's melted, flour goes in. Now that is the same amount of flour as butter. And then to that, we're gonna add about a third of our warmed milk. I'm using a whisk because I'm trying to eradicate all of the bumps and lumps. And then to that, you can add another third of the milk. Back onto the heat. So keep cooking out, okay? The more you cook it out, the more it thickens. And then lastly, add the last third of the milk. Just gonna turn the temperature down just a little bit. Leave it to cook out three or four minutes. You don't want it to stick to the bottom. You don't want it to burn. So you give it a stir, keep it cooking and moving. And at this point, just gonna take it away from the heat and I'm gonna add my cheeses and then just stir it quite gently and the heat of that sauce will melt those cheeses together and you can feel it go a little bit gloopy and gooey and stretchy and the smell is fantastic and then next in I'm gonna put two tablespoons of another cheese mascarpone and then also into that a big tablespoon of this truffle paste super luxury it works so well with cheese and you just mix the mascarpone and the truffle in. And look at that. Oh, gloopy, gooey, truffly, cheesy. And that is it. Our cheese sauce ready to go. Now here, I've got a pan of salted boiling water and into that 500 grams macaroni. And this is going to cook for around about five to eight minutes, just till it's al dente, okay? You don't want it super soft because it's going to get mixed with that cheese sauce and baked. Macaroni is boiling away. Cheese sauce is ready to go. Here, I have 50 grams of dried breadcrumbs, okay? You can just crumble them up a little bit with your hand. And to that, I'm gonna add another 50 grams of Parmesan, freshly grated. To that, teaspoon cayenne pepper. And you just mix it all together to give you this amazing an incredible topping that's going to bake and the cheese will melt and add extra flavour and the cayenne pepper will have this wonderful little bit of spice and heat. Okay, just check this macaroni. Okay, it's still got a little bit of bite to it. It's perfect. So the pasta is drained. Put it into a big mixing bowl. Pour over all of that amazing, lovely, luscious, completely over the top, ridiculous cheese sauce. And then mix it all together. So just when you think you're done stirring, keep going. You want every bit of that macaroni stuffed. And then when you think you're done, you're gonna add to it a ball of mozzarella. Just break it up, drop it on the top. The beautiful thing about mozzarella is it cooks and melts. It goes really stringy and gooey. Mix it all in. Make sure that mozzarella's kind of bound all the way through it. Disperse little nuggets of it, hiding away. And then, Pour it all into an oven-proof dish, ready for baking. And then on top of that, we're gonna put an even sprinkle of our breadcrumb and cheese mix. We put the mac and cheese on top of a baking tray, and in it goes. 200 degrees, 25 minutes. Toasty, golden brown on the top. Little bits of bubbly cheese. And, oh my. Oh, gooey, cheesy, oh, it smells incredible. It's gonna feed six people proper happy. And as a recipe, it is lush. And for all of the recipe details, it's in the comments below. Let me know what you think, subscribe to the channel, and get more recipes like this. See you soon.